Hey guys, Ms. Fearon here. Welcome to Unit 9, Notes 5. Today we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at dividing rational expressions. So when we're dividing rational expressions, we do the same exact thing as we would if we were dividing fractions. We have to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip the second expression. So what's on top is going to go on bottom, what's on bottom is going to go on top. And then we're just going to multiply straight across like we were doing last week. So when you are thinking about last week's stuff, so step one is to flip, flip second expression. Then we need to multiply across. And remember, when we are talking about multiplying across, you may have to factor, and we factor if they have an x squared plus or minus something. Also, don't forget about GCFs at this point. Then we find our EVs, our excluded values, and then we cross things off. So cross off, same things. So the only new step is going to be that first step, the flip the second. That's going to be our only new step here. So let's look at this first example. I have 5x squared divided by 7, all divided by 10x to the third divided by 21. So because of the fact that this is a division problem, we need to turn it into a multiplication problem. So our first step is to flip the second one, so only this one is going to flip. So we're going to flip that. 21 was on the bottom, it's now going to be on the top. 10x to the third was on the top, it's now going to be on the bottom. And then it turns into multiplication. So it's exactly what we did last week then. So multiplying straight across now, I do 5 times 21, which is going to give me 105, and I still have an x squared on top, divided by 7 times 10, which is going to give me 70, and an x to the third on the bottom. So remember, we need to simplify this first. If I do 105 divided by 70, I get a decimal. So I'm going to have to go ahead and do some scratch work here, and I'm going to do 105 divided by 70, and I'm going to simplify this. So I know a 7 goes into both. So if I divide a 7 out of both of them, I get 15 over 10, which I know both of those also can be divided by 5 now. So if I divide out by 5, I get 3 over 2, which I can't reduce anymore. So I'm going to have 3 over 2. And now when we divide, we subtract the power. So I have bigger minus smaller, two, 3 minus 2, which is 1, bigger on the bottom, so x on the bottom. So this is my answer, but what I'm missing is my EVs, and we probably should have done that before we simplified. Looking back up here at this problem, I have an x in the denominator, and since it's multiplying, I know that x cannot be 0. Example number 2 here, I have 27c to the 3rd d squared all over 11d divided by 2c to the 3rd over 9d to the 3rd e. So first steps first, we want to flip just the second one. So I have 27 c to the third d squared all over 11 d. That's going to stay. I'm going to flip the second one. 9 d to the third e is going to move to the top. 2 c to the third on the bottom. And then it turns to multiplication. And now it's exactly like we did last week. So multiply straight across. If I do 27 times 9, I get 243. Now I have a c to the third. I have a d squared and a d to the third. When we multiply, we add the powers. And then I have an e. 11 times 2 is going to give me 22. And then I have, I like to do my c's on top of the c, so I'm going to do my c to the third first. And then I have a d. So now I would go and I would try to simplify 243 over 22. There is no number that goes into both of those, so that is actually as low as it's going to go. So I'm going to get 243 over 22. And now we have to subtract our powers of things that have the same variable. So c to the third, c to the third, those are going to cross off. I'm not going to have any left. d to the fifth divided by d. So I'm going to do 5 minus 1, which is going to give me 4, and the bigger number's on top, so I stay on top. And then I still have that e on top. So again, now we want to look at those evs, and I should have done those first again. We want to look back at this problem. I have a C in the denominator, and I have a D in the denominator. And since we're multiplying, I know both of those cannot be 0. So we're going to look at example number 3 here. We want to go ahead and we see this is division, so we're going to flip the second and then multiply across. So I'm going to get B plus 4 
over 2b plus 2 times, flip the second one, b plus 1 over 3b plus 12. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to simplify each of these separately. So I'm going to look at the top. I have b to the b plus 4. Can't simplify anything there, so I'm going to leave it as b plus 4. Look at the top of the second one. I have a b plus 1. Again, I cannot simplify, so I'm going to leave it as b plus 1. Divided by bottom of the first, 2b plus 2. I notice that there's a GCF right away of a 2, so I'm going to bring the 2 out front. If I divide that by 2, I get b plus 1. Bottom of the second, I notice another GCF of 3, so I have a 3 out front. And I'm left with b plus 4. From here, we want to do our EVs first. So I'm going to look at the things in the denominator. I see that I have b's in the denominator. So I know that my b cannot be something. We're going to look at this piece by piece. This 2 is not a variable, so I don't have to worry about that. So the same thing with the 3. So I'm going to look right in here. I know that this cannot equal 0, so that number I would plug in there that would make it equal 0 is a negative 1. So I can't have a negative 1. Looking at this piece, the number I'd plug in that would make that 0 would be a negative 4. So those are my two EVs. Again, we only care about the denominator. We don't look at anything in the top. Now I can simplify. So if I have something on top that's the same on the bottom, I can cross off. So b plus 4, b plus 4, b plus 1, b plus 1. So now on top, I need some placeholder to say that there's a top of the fraction still. So there's an imaginary 1 up there. And I have a 2 times 3 on the bottom, so I get a 6. And that's my final answer. Number four here, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. It's exactly like number three. Don't forget our first step though when we are dividing, we have to flip the second one and then multiply straight across. So pause the video, try it on your own, and then come back and check your answers. So when I went through and simplified this, I got b minus two over b plus nine. With my EVs or my excluded values, of b cannot equal negative 5 and negative 9. If you didn't get that same answer, please come chat with me before moving on to the next problem. Example number 5 here then, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. I know this is dividing, so I'm going to flip the second and then multiply straight across. So the first one is not going to change at all. I'm going to multiply by flipping the second. So now I want to go ahead and I want to simplify everything I can. So I'm going to look at this. I see that I have an x squared plus something. So I know I'm going to need my x method. So I'm going to do some work up here. I have 2 on the top, 3 on the bottom. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 2 and add to 3. So 2 and 1. So my factors are x plus 2 and x plus 1. Looking at this piece, I can't simplify. So I'm going to leave it as x plus 1. Divided by the 4, I can't simplify, so I'm going to leave it as 4. And x plus 2, I can't simplify, so I'm going to leave it as x plus 2. So now we're going to find our EVs. Remember, your EVs only come from the denominator. So I have an x in the denominator. I'm looking at this piece. I know it cannot be negative 2. And now I can simplify. Cross things off. I'm left with x plus 1 on top times x plus 1 all over 4. number six here again I see I'm dividing so we're gonna leave the first one the same and then we're gonna multiply by flipping the second one so now we're gonna simplify everything we can top I see an x squared plus or minus something so I know I'm using my x method my c is my top so my constant goes on top your b is your middle term remember we don't have a middle term here so it's a zero so two numbers that multiply to negative four and add to zero are negative two and two so I'm going to write that as x minus 2, x plus 2. Looking at this piece, I cannot simplify x, so I'm going to leave it as x. Bottom, I can't simplify 5x, so I'm going to leave it as 5x. And I can't simplify x minus 2, so I'm going to leave it as x minus 2. So we're going to find our EVs. I have x cannot be. This one has an x with it, so I have to write an EV for that. If that is multiplying, I know that I can't multiply by 0, so an EV can't be 0 for that one. For this one, it's adding or subtracting, so the number I would plug in for that would be a 2. 
So those would be my EVs. Now I can simplify by crossing things off. This X on this side can actually be crossed off with this X down here because they're being multiplied by something. I could not take the X here with this X because this has an X plus 2 attached to it. So simplified, still left on top, I have X plus 2. The only thing left on the denominator is 5, and I would be done. I want you to try number 7 on your own. Kind of do the same process. We're dividing, so you're going to flip the second one and then multiply across. Simplify everything you can, but don't forget your GCFs, and then cross things off after you write your EVs. So pause the video, try it, and then come back and check your answer. So here's the answer I got when I went through and simplified. If you got something different, please come chat with me. The one thing you have to be careful of is I had an X plus two on top, I had two of them actually, and an X plus two on the bottom. You can only cross off one with one, so don't cross them all off, you only get one with one. Last example here, number eight, we are dividing, so we're going to flip the second one and then simplify everything we kind of can by multiplying. So the first one's going to stay the same, times it by the flip of the second, 12 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now all of these have x squared, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to factor every single one of them. So this is kind of a long problem, that's okay. So I have a negative 2 on top and a 1 on bottom. Multiplies to negative 2, adds to 1 is 2 and negative 1. So I get x plus 2, x minus 1. This one multiplies to 12, adds to 7. I get 4 and 3. So I have x plus 4, x plus 3. Divided by this piece. I have a 6 on top and a 5 on bottom, so multiplies to 6, adds to 5, 3 and 2. x plus 3, x plus 2. And then last but not least, I have a negative 3 on top and a 2 on the bottom, so multiplies to negative 3, adds to 2, is 3 and negative 1. x plus 3, x minus 1. Find your EVs before we cross anything off, so x cannot be this one a negative 3, this factor a negative 2, a negative 3 for that factor, it's already in my list so I don't have to write it again, but it's not going to be wrong if you do, and that factor tells me it can't be a 1. So those are my EVs, now I can simplify, I have an x minus 1, x minus 1, x plus 3, x plus 3, x plus 2, x plus 2, that x minus 3 is already crossed off so I can't cross off the denominator 1 again, so I'm left with x plus 4 over x plus 3. If you have any questions on this one, come chat with me before moving on for the practice of the day.